sum of two numbers is 20 and their difference is four. Find the two numbers. Okay. So what we will do is let us assume that the two numbers are A and B. Okay. It is given that their sum is 20. So A plus B will be 20. Also, the difference will be A minus B being equal to 4. Okay. Now, there are different ways to uh, deal with these two uh, equations. Okay. These two linear equations. Okay. Linear, the highest power here is 1 everywhere. Right. Okay. So, then as I said, there are multiple ways to deal with these linear equations. One way is uh, from this equation, you can write A equals to 20 minus B. And this you substitute in this given equation. Okay. 20 minus 2B is 4. 2B is 16. B is equal to 8. Be substituted in any of these two a equals to 12. Okay, this is called as a method of substitution, but it's very, very lengthy, right? You have to first write uh, b uh, a in terms of b substitute, it's a lot of headache, right? So, to avoid all this, what we do is we write the two equations one below the other, okay, and we observe that the signs of b are opposite in both of these two equations, right? So, by directly adding these two equations, we can get rid of b plus b minus b gets cancelled out. The left hand side will be simply a plus a, which is 2a. And the right hand side will be 20 plus 4 equals to 24. So we get 2a equals 24 and a equals to 12. Okay, now we resubstitute this in any of these two. We will get b equals to 8. Okay, now these two equations are linear equations. And since we are solving them both together, this method is called as solving the linear equation simultaneously. So these are basically called as linear simultaneous equations. Okay, let's understand uh, their uh, properties in depth. Okay, so if you talk about two linear equations, okay, the two linear equations can behave in three ways. We'll discuss these three in detail when we study coordinate geometry. Okay, so the two lines or two equations can be parallel. Okay, they can be of parallel lines. They can be of uh, intersecting lines and they can be of coincident lines. Okay, guys, pay attention. Blue ke open mein black line aane wala hai, like this. Okay, once again, blue, black, blue, black, blue ke open, black. Okay, so they are coincident lines, ek ke open, ek lines. Okay. So whenever we have three, uh, whenever we have been given two uh, straight lines or two linear equations, okay, they can have either uh, no solutions. If they're parallel lines, they will never meet. Okay. If they're meeting at exactly one point, there will be intersecting lines. We have one solution. And when they are coincident, when they're coinciding, you will have infinite solutions here in this case. Okay. So before solving the two equations, before solving the two linear equations, you have to first identify which of these three categories does the particular do the particular lines belong to. Okay. So general equations of two lines can be given as a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equals to zero and a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 equals to zero. There a, b and c are all constants. So for example, you take values for a, b and c, you will get uh, x plus 2y plus 3 is equal to zero. I have taken a1 as 1, b1 as 2, c1 as 3. Okay. You can take infinite values. Okay. Any values of your choice and you can keep on forming straight lines ka equations. Okay. Suppose you take a uh, root 2x plus 3y plus root 10 is equal to 0. This is also a straight line equation. Okay. So any x, any equation of the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0 is always a straight line. Okay. We will understand this in detail when we study functions and graphs. Now graph plot a straight line. We will understand that a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 is nothing but a straight line. Okay. So before we solve the two equations, we have to understand whether they are, they are parallel, whether they are of intersecting lines and whether they are coincident. Okay. So to understand that we first find out the ratio of their X and Y coefficients. Okay. X coefficient yaha pe hai? A1 hai. Yaha pe hai? A2 hai. So we, we take A1 upon A2, the ratio of the X coefficient and the ratio of the Y coefficients here are B1 and B2. So we basically find the values of a1, a2, a1 upon a2 and b1 upon b2. Okay. Now there are two possibilities. First is they are not equal. If they are not equal, then we have the condition of intersecting lines. Okay. We will solve them and we will find the answer for x and y. That is the solution set. Okay. Or the point of intersection if we talk about graphically. All right. But if they are equal, then we have two further cases. Okay. That we will find out by finding out the ratio of the constant terms. Okay, so we find out a1 upon a2 that comes out to be equal to b1 upon b2. If it is not equal to the constant terms ka ratio, then we get parallel lines. Okay, and if all the ratios are equal, okay, we get the condition of coincident lines. Okay, this is also called as the condition of consistency. All right, so always remember whenever you are finding out this point of intersection of uh, two uh, straight lines or you are finding out the solution set of two uh, equations, linear equations. Always find out the ratio of their x and y coefficients. If they are not equal, we have intersecting lines. If they're equal, then we have to check the ratio of the constant terms. If the ratio of constant terms are not equal, then we have parallel lines. 
if the ratios x coefficients y coefficients and the constant terms are all equal okay we basically have coincident lines okay so likewise let's solve a few questions based on this solve the following equations 4a plus 3b equals to 11 and 2a plus 5b equals to 9 ratio of the x coefficients is 4 upon 2 to y coefficients is 3 upon 5 it's 0.6 they are not equal right hence you will have a unique solution to this equations okay now to solve them we solve them simultaneously yeah 4 or uh, 3 hai. 3 or 5 calcium bada ho 15 you can observe that 2 is a factor of 4 right so you multiply the second equation with 2 you will have 4a plus 10b equals to 18 right and this will be 4a plus 3b equals to 11 now when you subtract them yeah minus like a minus 4a 3b will become minus 3b and 11 becomes minus 11 right so this gets cancelled out 10b minus 3b is 7b and 18 minus 11 will be 7 that directly gives you b is equal to 1 okay now b is equal to 1 you resubstitute in any of these two okay for simplicity i am putting it in the first equation i'll have 4a plus 3 into 1 is equal to 11 4a is equal to 8 and a is equal to 2 so the solution set for this is a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1 okay we had a unique solution and that solution is a comma b are basically 2 comma 1 okay so if you're good with numbers before without doing all this you can just observe 4 2 is 8 hai ye, or ye 3 1 is 3 hai. So, ye 2 or 1 ho sakta hai. you can check by resubstituting here likewise okay but uh, if you have confusion if you're not very sure you can always solve okay let's go on to the next question of the lot 10x plus 15y equals to 60 and 14x plus 21y equals to 84. First, check the ratio of the x coefficient. 10 upon 14 is nothing but 5 upon 7. 15 upon 21, the ratio of the y coefficients. 3, 3 cancel will again be 5 upon 7. So I'm sure that definitely there won't be a unique solution here. Let's look at the ratio of the constant term, 60 upon 84. Okay. Both log bolte 60 ko pehle yaha leke hao, 84 ko bhi yaha leke hao. Dono mein minus sign aega, to divide ka gate leke cancel out, right? So no need to do that anyway. Okay. You can directly take the ratio of the constant terms 60 upon 84. 12, 12 cancel 5 by 7. Okay, 5 by 7 is equal to 5 by 7 is equal to 5 by 7. Okay, that means the equation has uh, basically all ratios same. Then you will have infinite solutions. Okay. Let's go on to the last one. 5c minus 10d equals to 30 and 6d minus 3d equals to 3. The first step is to take the ratio of these two terms. No. Okay, observe carefully. Purposely, they have interchanged the terms of C and D. So the second expression should the equation should have been minus 3C plus 6D is equal to 3. Now we ratio. Lenge. Okay, C is C wale term. Ka. 5 upon minus 3 is minus 5 by 3. Minus 10 upon plus 6 is minus 5 by 3. These two terms are equal. But is this ratio equal to the ratio of constant terms? 30 upon 3 comes out to be 10, not equal, right? So basically, you have a condition of parallel lines. And you have zero solutions. Let k be a constant. The equations kx plus y equal to 3 and 4x plus ky equal to 4 have a unique solution if and only if. Okay. So the equations are kx plus y is equal to 3 and 4x plus ky is equal to 4. Okay, guys. We know that uh, we know that the ratio of the x coefficients k by 4 in this case and the ratio of the y coefficients 1 by k in this case they should not be equal right for the equations to have unique solutions you cross multiply you will get k square is not equal to 4 agar k square 4 ke barabar nahi hai iska matlab k cannot be equal to plus 2 or minus 2 in that case mod of k cannot be equal to 2 Now, guys, we solve the next question. I want you all to just pause the video and solve this question. Uh, and if you're not getting it anyway, you can pause, you can just uh, resume and see the solution. Okay. All right. So 24 pence and 26 erasers cost rupees 87. Okay. One way to solve the question is you can make equations. Okay. Assume the price of each pen be P and each eraser be E. Okay. So 24 into P plus 26 into E is equal to rupees 87. 16 pens and 34 erasers. So 16p plus 34e, sorry, plus 34e is equal to 83. Find the price of 12 pens and 18 erasers. Okay. 
Now, guys, one way to solve the question is you can basically solve them simultaneously. Okay, you can figure out the value of p, you can figure out the value of e, and then substitute here in the place of 12p plus 18a. But as you can see, the numbers are not very small. It will be a very complicated process. Okay, so what we do is we observe a quick shortcut to solve these questions. How? Let's see. Okay, 24p plus 26e equals to 87, and 16p plus 34e is 83. Okay, just add the two equations. When you add them, you will observe that. 40p plus 60e is 170 or dividing throughout by 10. 4p plus 6e equals to 17. Now, guys, question mein pucha kya hai? 12p and 18e. It is nothing but the same equation multiplied by 3, isn't it? Wahi karo, multiply the given equation by 3, you have your answer. 51. See, it's that simple.